Hey, what is up, guys? It is Clash with Dill here, bringing to you guys the next episode of my Clan War Attack series, and I'm going to do a giveaway at the end, so stick around for that. So, I'm going to show you two attacks. One's a Go Wee Wee, and one's a Go Wipe. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the Go Wee Wee. Yeah, 116 to 6. So, um, let me get to it. It's on a pretty high Town Hall 9, so it's a really good attack. Um, he has pretty high heroes, too, so that helps him out a lot. All level 8 walls. So he's going to drop two or three golems up at the top here by these two archer towers. They're going to clump a little bit since there's only two defenses, but that's okay. Um, he's going to drop all his witches before his wizards, uh, before his wizards, so that way they'll last a little bit longer. Um, his skeleton's going in, just activating all the bombs. Uh, the wall breakers on the right broke in first, so the golems clumped a little bit. Uh, the golems on the left, though, they're going to spread out again to that wizard tower. There's the clan castle coming out, and he put in his heroes and all his wizards all at once. Everything's in. Uh, there's a whole bunch of witches on the left, and there's some giant bombs going off, but it's okay. It only got one. Um, there's a raid spell in the middle. His king's going in the middle. There's golems going to the left and to the right. So it's, everything's just perfectly spread out. He dropped a healing spell in the middle to help out his king and the wizards. Um, his, he, his queen is behind those two golemites on the right. The golem went down, but it's okay because there's still mites, golemites left. Um, there's still two golems on the left. Uh, there's only one witch behind them, though, but that's okay because the golems are just going to last so long. It gives the witch plenty of time. Um, there's still loads of witches, and there's uh, wizards over by the queen on the right. The king's just about to go down, but he activates his abil ability and brings it back to about half health. That also summons a whole bunch of, of barbarians and activates a bunch of bombs, too. So, um, yeah, there's only about two defenses left, and there's a whole bunch of golems and a few witches left, too. And his queen is at full health. So, uh, yeah, he pretty much has this attack down. His king is just about to go down, but it's not going to because the, gol uh, the golems are just going to soak the hits. Now it's just cleanup work. He's going to activate his queen's ability just to help speed things up. There's uh, a giant horde of skele skeletons, barbarians, archers, and everything just going around to clean things up. And that about wraps this attack up. I'll see you in the next one. So this next attack is not just a go wipe, he still has a few witches, but it's more of a go wipe than anything, so it's like a go wee wee wipe, I guess. So, um, yeah, he drops two golems up here by these archer towers, and then he spreads in some wizards. He's going to drop his clan castle with some witches in it, both of his heroes all up here, it's nice and spread out. Um, the golems are going to be one to each side, which is perfect. His heroes are going to the right, but the wizards are going to the left, so that compensates a little bit. He's going to drop a rage spell on both sides and drop wall breakers in on both sides here in just a second so they get to use those uh, rage spells. Yep, and there it is. And he dropped all his pegas at the top, but they're going to spread out just perfectly so that way the clan castle can't really get to them very well. So they're all going to go into the middle with the queen behind him. He does not have a lightning spell for the clan castle, but he doesn't really need it because his queen is right behind just sniping him down. And they're just one hit and the queen shoots pretty fast. So he dropped a uh, jump spell in that T-junction before it got blew up, but it doesn't really matter because it blew up. Um, yeah, the queen's behind that. The Pekkas are going to go and take her out in just a second. They're going to turn around. Yep, they're taking her out. Um, there's Golemites on that cannon on the top right. All the Golems went down, so it's basically just Pekkas and the queen left. There's a whole lot of point defenses, but most of them are out of range. So, yeah, the queen is only in range of a mortar, and there's three Pekkas left. He still has some Barbarians and Archers to help clean up. There's a wizard right there on the top right. Um, yeah, his queen, the enemy king is still alive. But his, king, or his, his queen is going to take that out in just a second. He's just going to activate her ability. So that way the king does not just one hit her because he does a lot more. Uh, he has a lot more health than the queen and she's not going to target him until he gets a few hits anyway. So yeah, she's going to uh, get to him. He's going to activate her ability to uh, help kill her. There's one Pekka going off to the left and uh, one or two are going to the right. He's going to drop his barbarians and archers to help the Pekka on the left in just a minute um, to help them take that out. There's only two cannons left in an archer tower. Plus that wizard tower, but uh, all his stuff left is just high hit points, so it's not really going to do very much damage. Uh, his queen's just smacking a wall as usual. There's a skeleton trap that activated. That's going to take the Pekka a while to take down, but he still has barbarians and archers, so that'll speed things up. Um, there's the queen coming in to help take things out. She's going to get on that dark elixir storage. There's two Pekkas coming in, even though that Pekka's going to go down. So uh, hopefully the cannons don't retarget that queen, and she still has some archers, so that's going to take a second. And they look, they retargeted the Pekkas. So the Pekkas are coming in, they're just going to clean up. The queen is safely behind them. And yeah, that about wraps it up for this attack.
Okay guys, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm going to do a $10 iTunes giveaway. And that's really going to, it's going to be, you have a pretty high chance of winning because I only have like 20 subs. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and you comment down below and I'll pick a winner. Thanks for watching.